to respond to the question of the effect of constitutionality. I'm most obliged. My Lady Chief Justice, my judges of the Supreme Court, I'll be very brief in responding to three main issues. Issue number one is the issue of quorum. It would appear that there is a confusion as to the significance of this matter, which I think needs to be clarified. One group seems to argue the issue of quorum as if it has no consequence, as if a finding of no quorum has no consequence whatsoever, as if it were an academic matter. I think Mr. Justice Ooko, in one of his questions to us, sought to draw out that question of, is there a consequence we have had elections, 50 by elections. We have had elections of the judge of the, or the president of the Court of Appeal. Elections of the justice, uh, JSC's uh, judges' representatives and so on and so forth. This issue of quorum is not academic. It has consequences. Part of what was sought uh, in the lower court was to find that part of the preparatory process leading to the election we expect in August, in a few months' time, was null and void for lack of quorum. So I want to suggest with the greatest possible respect that your lordships step back, take a deep breath, and worry a little bit about consequence. Number two. Uh, <clears throat> a question was raised again by uh, 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 the, the learned Mr. Justice Ouko. Is there some silence on the part of IEBC as regards the proposals to create constituencies and the compromise that may have on the IEBC's uh, vested mandate? There is no silence. We are not embarrassed at all. We are only saying we appreciate that the Constitution is not cast in stone. Today we have a power. That power is well clarified. And it is a power to be exercised over a long period. But we have a constitutional moment in which the promoters of this bill, feel, requires a special intervention. That is not unconstitutional. And I'll give you an example, my lords. When we were involved in the, in the post-2007-2008 uh, 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 problem, uh, uh, the Kofi Annan uh, peace process, when we sat down, those who were helping in the background, there was a huge argument whether we could amend the Constitution then, because the Constitution said, this is the Constitution of the Republic of Kenya, and it stands above all other laws. One group insisted, this is the Constitution of the Republic of Kenya, and it is to be read alongside the accord and the accord shall have equal force. <coughs> Some people refused and said, no, 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 you cannot do that. Eventually, that is exactly what we did. And all I'm saying is that there is a constitutional moment that may require a special constitutional intervention in the event that matter came and went, and we thank God for that. And finally, in the United States, for example, right now, there is a huge argument about expanding the Supreme Court. That argument arises because when, uh, when uh, President Trump was in office, he used that period to pack the court with Republicans. And now the, the court has swung dangerously to the right. And the Democrats are saying, let's add more judges to, and nobody, Nobody has said that that is an illegitimate constitutional dialogue. 
that you cannot change the, uh, the, 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 uh, that for any purpose. So it is our very humble submission that we have demonstrated that there was quorum at all material times, that the void, the void, the lack of, the lack of a specific set of rules setting out quorum did not delegitimate de de IEBC. In fact, it's a question that cannot lie in the mind of any serious lawyer. You cannot say this constitutional commission is legitimate because to be legitimate it requires only three commissioners, but notwithstanding its legitimacy, it can make no decision because there is no law, yeah, because there is no law regulating quorum. I thought that most of the law, uh, my colleagues on, on this side uh, who are championing uh, uh, democracy and the rule of law would remember when in this court we came many times and said, we want to invoke the chapter of the Constitution on the defense of human rights. And the court then said, you cannot do that because the Chief Justice has not made regulations. I thought that is the jurisprudence we left behind us, not the one we are running to embrace. Uh, uh, thank you. I have eight minutes left. Uh, I will donate this uh, to the Honorable the Attorney General, who has the very weighty responsibility of guiding our nation. My lady, the Chief Justice, my Lords, members of the court, I'm sure Lanet